Yo, uh, it's Tizit back here. What's our experimental battery? Um, yeah, we we're here earlier than yesterday, which is good. Uh, my allergies are kind of kicking my butt this morning. But, uh, we're gonna go ahead and load this up. And, uh, if you guys hear, like, panting or something in the background, uh, I just got a new puppy. And, uh, she does nothing but play with my other dog. So, be warned. All right. So here we are. I remember what we were doing. We got oil production. All, or, uh, what is it? Um, yeah, oil processing. So we're going to do alternative fluid transport. But we need a crap ton of motors, which are going to be there. So we set up motors, which is just one. And then we made the stators over there. Um, I, okay, those are the stators. I thought those were the pipes. And I'm like, why is that not filled up all the way? Okay, um, so stay so we got that all squared away and then the closest oil that we have Is over yonder Way over here and I did already put in a uh, refinery on it. I just died Before I can really do anything else um and it was also kind of in a rush to get that done because I really needed to get uh, stop and get ready for work. But that's um, a setting that you can do is uh, make creatures non-hostile or make them uh, only hostile if you attack first, or you can just leave it as normal. And I'm just gonna. So as you can see though, I also have no resources that I need, because my crate, yeah. So, this. Which is cool that we could take all of it here, so... We're gonna go ahead and do this and condense the proteins down. Because we do have um, DNA capsules. Here's the refinery. I think it's going to be this one here, that way. Then we'll put the refinery, or the uh, oil extractor, uh, straight on here, which I believe is there. And I'm confident enough I can go ahead and kill Nice, didn't take any damage from it.
Uh, I almost wanted to take it out that way, but... Because if we go this way... for now. That's way easier to set up. Anything else? That. So we'll have the oil come in here and then we'll start setting up the refineries up over here. Normally I like doing the refineries or any building on the on the threshold in between two foundations. But um, we can do what I want to do. Uh, back here because normally I want to do it here, but this, this is fine. This is actually probably going to be a lot better because I can do the logistics on this side and then still have space to go around. We're gonna get uh, two rubber. And three plastic. And then we'll put the water extractors over on that side to bring it up. Hold on. Oh, we don't need the residual plastic. We need rubber. And rubber. Plastic. So this is polymer resin and water gets plastic. So that's a way to get rid of on it, but we want to do plastic, which produces uh, heavy residual oil. Which just takes the oil and then um, separates it uh, into what we need. And then to line these up, you can just hold uh, control, and it lines it up here, so we don't need to worry about that. <clears throat> Alright. So... 
This is... I'm not gonna hook this up yet, because... I need to uh, make sure I have all the output stuff right. So it's 10, 20, 30, and then this is gonna be 20. 20, 40, 50, 70. This. this is 20 per minute, so mark one belt. Fine. And then this is where it kind of gets a little tricky because we haven't, we don't have this set up quite yet. Um, of course I'm missing. I can make them get screws. I'm actually gonna need uh, four or three smart splitters. And we'll see why. Really, I need to make uh, have six. Go. Uh, let's see. Put the storage. Get over there. <clears throat> that and here. So plastic to the right, and we're gonna do plastic straight ahead. And then this is gonna be overflow. So plastic straight ahead, and then there. Over here, we are going to have, it's not gonna matter at this particular moment. 
Actually, need a constructor. Because we don't have what we need to make this yet, which is going to be uh, empty plastic, uh, empty package or plastic package or something. Can't remember what it's. And then this is going to go into a packager, which we're going to put right here. And then this is going to be fuels, packaged fuels. with what we currently have that mm, sweet okay i got this all set up now how i would like um for for this logistics now for um is there even more space over here should i build over here because now we need the fluid which I'm thinking we bring all of it over that way because we need to put it in another refinery. So over that way or over this way and then just wrap it kind of back around to get right there. That sounds like a better idea. Click off of center, or off the. So now we're kind of is kind of where the fuel buffers come in. Or the, the liquid buffer. We're gonna put a couple buffers here to make sure that when you go residual fuel, you need sixty per minute and this is all producing seventy residual uh heavy residual oil residue. Wow, I can talk. So we'll put three here. Three, and you have to connect them. This. start processing this. So you see how the yeah there we go. And 
and then go here. Fuel. Wait, no, 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 no. We're not going there because it's not the packager. Because the packager is going to go there. Here, so it could just go straight across, but we can't do that. One, two, three. That's going to be a loop around. That's going to be there, and then I'm going to feed the packager from here into the packager. And then this is going to feed into that, and then this is going to go there. And then you need a part splitter here. Too close. There, and then maybe overflow. And I don't think I can select that for now. I do need to wait for 200 plastic, so I'm not really wasting a rip over here. I think there's something over If not, we'll just stick around, give it some time to build up. Oh, that, that, that's it. That's a huge guy. We're not. We're not messing with those guys. That's the, the 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 really 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 big guy. Yeah, I'm safely out of here. Oh, that's another big guy. Uh, get rid of that. Don't need it at the moment. All right, for the hard drive. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Oh my gosh, this guy, oh. I'm 
glad they're that that messed up messed him up. Ah, we're just gonna run away now. We got the hard drive, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, we got the hard drive. All right, so I think this uh, trek over here has been successful, minus my death last time. Do we need fuel to keep going? Though so that it builds this up um, so that we can continuously drain this, so that these can continuously produce uh, this stuff. I'm going to store that for just a moment. And then I'm going to consolidate all the proteins. So I can go doink, all of them. I'm going to try my best to ignore those guys while I get up on my power tower the platform. And after we get packaged fuel, then we can replace the coal that's going into um, one of those. And then just take that off there. Or we could just leave it because it's running as, as it needs to. We don't need that extra at the moment. But I think I'm going to do a truck line from there back over this way. Towards the main base. Um, just to make getting plastic so much easier. Why would that tree do that to you? I'm surprised I didn't take any damage from that. Note to self, use the left, or use the west one. Hard drive, go ahead and start analyzing that while we go around and collect uh, all the versus, the other resources that we need. Store that. There. There are to-do lists because I was just, I always overestimate how many power towers there are going to be, and I would rather overestimate than underestimate. Five, and then
All right, let's get this uh, alternative fluid transport going. Hiya! Milestone reached. Fluids can now be packaged to allow for transportation via vehicle and conveyor belts. Additionally, highly improved biofuel can now be produced. Okay, and then... Get pack. So we have all of it except for the packaged fuel. We're gonna go ahead and select this. And then we're going to go here, because we have a packager now. That's what we were waiting on. And we have enough everything to get that that uh going. any rubber. <laughs> now. Yeah. Empty canister. Now we can start doing this. So it's going to fill up, uh, this plastic is going to fill up this giant container, and this uh, packager before it sends any over there because it's our splitter, because booyah. This takes uh, 40 fuel per minute. This makes 40 fuel per minute. Uh, 60 heavy residue. Heavy oil residue. Here's some 70, so this is gonna be backed up way before this. But I do like having the buffer system here just in case all of this gets backed up, which eventually this will. There we go.
all we're waiting for is this to get to uh we're actually wanting to get to probably closer to 100 because 50 for the for the um actual jetpack and then we need to make the jetpack and then we need to have fuel for the jetpack and our uh ma'am should be done pretty soon with the for the what um for the hard drive i'll be right back i heard some noises All right, I am back. All right, sweet. So we're gonna take all of that. Uh, and I would like to take plastic. Hard drive was probably done while I was away. Oh, look, there it is, right there. Yeah. down just a little bit because my eye itches and I'd rather slow down than do this continuously what is red over there? oh yeah that's the boundary that's not hooked up to anything yet This is fantastic.
I need motors for freaking everything right now. Good thing we upped the production of them. R&D inflated your pocket dimension and has provided a jetpack, which operates on oil-based fuel, for increased navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. Uh. Now we need to do industrial manufacturing, which we have almost everything that we need already. Uh, just need another 50 motors, but more importantly, we got the jetpack here, and we just need some circuit boards, which should be fairly easy to make. Uh, how many circuit boards do we need? I think we need 15. And this is why we need to set up a truck system to go pick up the plastic, bring it back. Um, or, oh, the plastic, rubber, and uh, fuel wouldn't hurt either, or packaged fuel wouldn't hurt. So we can start building uh, computer stuff. Or have it meet, like, halfway, partway, so have a truck sh uh, harbor stuff over that way. Sweet. So the backpack takes place of this, of, of the parachute. So now we have significantly more mobility. We can go ahead and reach stuff, like that power slug, up there relatively easy. But if having to build like foundations up there, take them down. Um, and it is best to not just continuously hold it. It's best to do it in spurts, like top of the jump, boom, boom. And then you can adjust it as necessary, like maintaining the same altitude, or going higher, or like going slower, like lowering the time of it so you get closer to the ground. Yeah, jetpacks are fun. Uh, oh, I didn't even slip the next one that we're doing. My bad. Thought I needed a power shard for something else. It was rotors, but it's fine. Got two truck stations, one tractor. Uh, I'm gonna set up a truck station over there. I may have it just go straight, straight across over that way. Thinking at this first power station, we're going to clear out some of that brush and then start building a, a platform out over this way so it's above ground level and then put the truck station there. So it's the truck station from uh, uh, the oil residue over this way and then from the copper area over. 
and we'll just haul resources that way. So the cool thing about fuel is it regenerates while you're on the line, or it refills while you're ziplining. Maybe this is a bad idea for that particular area because of the poison. So we'll probably do it on this one then. This is also a nice open area too. Man, allergies suck. Maybe I should have hit control first. I'm gonna go ahead and go this way first because I didn't need to get plastic. I think I'll do the trucks on the west side of it. Like, so on those, like right over here, and then bring it straight, straight across because it should line up fairly well, I think. Maybe not. You want to get ooh? Yeah, I I would have to. Uh, I think I would have to bring the resources on this side. Right south. Oh, we could do it on that on the far side and then bring it over there and then just bust the resources over. Hmm. I don't know. Way more rubber than what I re need right now.
close. Three more. Oh, and a thousand, uh, a thousand cable. We did not bring that. That is not a good sign. We do not like that at all. Fifty per minute. That's 100 per minute, so I'm gonna turn this off. As long as these are staters, which I think they are. Alright, so now I need to make sure that I'm producing more than 50 per minute of wire cable. 30, 60. That was my mistake. I did not check out. By the time I'm done with building all of these cables, uh, we should have um, some back uh, some storage for the uh, cables. So this is kind of a logistical thing I was talking about the other day that like we have a stack of 500 wire and that stack of 500 wire can make 250 cable but the stacks of cable are only 200 so it'd be easier to transport all the wire and then make all the cable on site where you need it because you get more resources transported that way.
And I'm gonna be a couple sh cables short, too. So it's it's unfortunate, but that's what I got. Part of the reason I'm doing this is I just want to make sure that uh, give some time to get the uh, um, cable to catch up in the production for the uh, to get back up or to start getting backed up. It's not getting backed up. Well, I'm going to take that, that cable. And I'm going to take that. Milestone reached. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, automated or otherwise. New project parts enable progress to the next phase. Uh, so that's good. 25 slot inventory and this is 48 so we're going to go with the 48 better but we need all these other components to do and that was my alarm to wake up um but here I think is a fairly good stopping point. We got what we're gonna do next time, which is set up the trucking station from the cave or from the upper area to that area, that new factory that's going to be uh, manufacturing computers and uh, circuit boards, and then we're gonna also set up the trucks from the plastic over this way. And I think for computers, we actually need um, a couple other things. Yeah, so cable, so we'll bring over uh, copper sheets, cable, which we probably need to redo cable or find, probably find a copper node out there and do nothing but cable on it. We, we're not transporting that. Um, and uh, screws, so we'll we'll figure all that out next time, but we might actually pull up a resource over there to do, because there's uh, iron, I think it's a node that's right there on the reticle, just to, just to the right of center. Uh, before the circle ends um, that should be iron I think um, if not it's copper um, but we'll probably just set it up out there as a se its own separate little factory and then uh, go from there but uh, until then uh, y'all have a good one and I'll catch y'all later